Are you ready? Ready. All right, let's go. Kevin here, top one financial advisor. And best-selling author. We are here to talk about the stock market. A report by Goldman Sachs says that AI, artificial intelligence, could replace up to 300 million jobs between the U.S. and Europe. That puts us all at risk. So in this video, we need to explain what is going on with AI, how many jobs can it take, but most importantly, are there any upsides to this whole thing? And what should we do, both as investors and as people? Because in robots, it's coming. All right, so let's go ahead and break it down. You've probably been bombarded by AI. We've talked about it on this channel before, and it is everywhere. Primarily, this started, or at least this current wave and trend started with ChatGPT, then became Bard AI, and now it has exploded from AI models to AI songs. There was a whole fake song by Drake that was produced in some ways by AI, and it's, it's really getting out of hand. I'm honestly tired of talking about it already. But this is something that we do need to discuss because it could affect us all in one way or another. And there's also a little bit of a bright future in this as well. At least it could be. So here's what we know. Generative AI, this is artificial intelligence programs that could create new stuff, is the biggest threat. So for somebody like me who makes some money writing, right? I write for Business Insider. I write for Fortune. Well, what if somebody could just get on ChatGPT or whatever and say, hey, look, write an article in the style of Kevin about investing in stocks and within minutes they can have an entire article i'm out of a job then right that is basically the threat and it can do a whole bunch of other things but here is the thing that you want to pay attention to number one just because a new technology comes out doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to replace your job but it could reduce your income and studies have shown us that it's about at 10 percent for example, this happened with GPS. You know, back in the day, we used to have maps. This new technology called GPS, Global Positioning System, was going to be a way to show us where to go in real time. Now think of what jobs are actually replaced and think about what it did. What it did was taxi drivers, especially in places like New York, who knew every duck and cranny, they were extremely valuable. Then all of a sudden, they weren't as valuable and taxi drivers across the board got paid a lot less. There weren't any less taxi drivers, but they weren't as valuable. If you knew every single street, who cares anymore? I just open up my phone and I know exactly where to go and based on where traffic is, I can get to wherever I need to get to whether I've been driving for 20 years or I've been driving for just two days. That is likely the path of where AI is going to go. But also, don't forget this. Anytime a new technology is created, there is usually a new job that is created as well. It is usually a rotation from one profession to another. Another example here from the same study actually is in 1940, or since 1940 rather, 60% of jobs that exist today did not exist back then. That could be the exact same thing now. One new profession that is randomly popped up, well not randomly popped up, but popped up due to AI is a prompt engineer, someone who specializes in telling these AI systems or asking them the right questions to get the absolute best results. That's a new job that did not exist, what, two years ago. Uh, an example, my wife was someone who was in social media. There was no such thing as a social media coordinator. There was no such thing as someone who like tweeted for full time for a salary. People do that all the time now. It's There are entire majors in college that did not exist 10 years ago all around social media communication and content creation. That is something that was brand new. So as we go through this AI journey, whether we want to or not, keep an eye out on new skills, new openings, and new things that you may have to shift into or specialize in as the world begins to change. The key thing in, in anything, even in investing, is understanding where the landscape is going and positioning yourself in the best place possible. All right. That is it for me today. I will talk to y'all on Monday. As always, you'll make sure you check out our members only. We just dropped a new video on how to adjust your financial models and your financial systems to better predict the stock market, but most importantly, to better evaluate the stocks that you are investing in. All right, that's it for me. Talk to you later.